two containers A and B contains mixture of water and acid. The ratio of acid and water in the first vessel is 5 is to 2 and that in the second vessel is 8 is to 5. In what ratio these mixtures be mixed together so that the ratio of acid and water in the new mixture becomes 9 is to 4. So very very important question very important question and this is little different from the questions which we have already completed okay here the the values are given in the form of a ratio so we have seen questions direct values are given we have seen questions in the form of percentage here the value the information which are given in the questions are in the form of a ratio itself okay and we need to find out a new ratio so how to how to solve these type of questions very very important and understand the basic of this type of questions very clearly once you are clear with this type of questions then it becomes very easy for you to score mark because at least you will get a three to four questions from this topic that is a weightage of this topic allegation and mixtures minimum three to four questions you will get in every competitive exam so this particular question is given in ratio so here there are two containers a and b so let us take this way in container a that is in vessel a what is mixed we have acid and water so acid and water in what ratio in a this is acid and this is water so in first vessel container a acid and water in the ratio 5 is to 2 acid and water a for acid and w for water they are in the ratio 5 is to 2 and according to the question in second vessel it is given in the in, in the ratio 8 is to 5 so vessel 2 that is container b we have 8 is to 5 8 is to 5 that is the ratio given vessel 2 yeah container b we have 8 is to 5 and the mixture ratio is given 9 is to 4 so 9 is to 4 that is a mixture this is the information given in the question that is what we have written first for vessel a 5 is to 2 that is container a 5 is to 2 and container b 8 is to 5 acid ratio water and the mixture 9 is to 4 and what is asked in the question the question here is in what ratio it should be mixed to get this mixture ratio 9 is to 4 so here if we use the allegation rule we have cheaper value we have dearer value we have mean value we have x and y and we have this relation x is equal to d minus m and y is equal to m minus c this is the allegation rule we have learned but the question here is if the ratios are given what value you will use in these places the question here is in the, the question is given in a particular ratio if the values are given in a particular ratio what we will use we have already seen in the previous question if the values are given in percentage we will remove the percentage we will take the value only but here 5 is to 2 what value we will take we will take 5 yeah 2 yeah 5 plus 2 7 what value we will take that is very very important step so understand very clearly understand very clearly all these type of questions consider only one side value consider only one side value out of the total value so what is one side value out of the total value if you consider acid consider only acid out of total so acid here out of total 5 out of 7 5 plus 2 total 7 acid and water together we have 7 part out of that 7 part 5 part is water or acid here in container b 8 plus 5 we have 13 part out of that 13 part we have 8 part is acid here 9 plus 4 13 out of 13 9 is acid and 4 is water 
so you have to consider either acid or water either one any one either you can take acid or you can take water but don't use mixing first you are taking acid from here then you are taking water from here you will get a wrong answer either consider acid only out of total or you consider water only out of total okay out of total that is very important either acid or water so let me take for this particular question let me both the way you can take either acid or water anything you can take for simplification let me take acid values so i am taking acid values i am taking acid value so here container a 5 out of 7 so total 7 part 5 part is acid so i am taking that 5 out of 7 here 5 out of 7 and here 8 part out of 13 8 plus 5 13 out of 13 8 part is acid so i am taking that 8 part 8 by 13 and in the mean value i got 9 is to 4 so out of 9 plus 4 13 again out of that 13 9 part is acid so we will take that 9 part here 9 by 13 now we want the value of x and y we know the value of x is obtained by d minus m and the value of y is obtained by m minus c so let me calculate that x is equal to d minus m d minus m that is 8 by 13 minus 9 by 13 the difference only we want we don't want any negative number so here m minus c 9 by 13 minus 5 by 7 so now 8 here it is 13 here it is 13 so this value this value i can take as 1 by 13 this value i can take as 1 by 13 and this value here we have to take the lcm 13 and 7 13 7 lcm is 91 and here it will become 9 into 7 63 here it will become 13 into 5 65 so we got difference is 2 by 91 2 by 91 so finally i got the ratio 1 by 13 is to 2 by 91 so I can cut this 13 and 91 here one time here seven time when I cross multiply I will get 1 into 7 7 is to 1 into 2 2 so 7 is to 2 is the required quantity required ratio in which I have to mix these two vessels to get 9 is to 4 mixture so this ratio is what we need to find out and accordingly you can mark the correct option from the given options so what is the very important thing what we need to remember here is students whenever the questions are given in ratio take either acid or water whatever it is whether it is acid or alcohol or whatever it is take only one quantity don't mix both take the values of one quantity out of the total here we have taken five out of total seven total seven 5 plus 2 total 7 here 5 plus 2 5 part of alcohol 2 part of water so total we have 7 part out of that 7 part we have 5 part alcohol here we have 8 part and 5 part so 8 plus 5 we have 13 out of that 13 we have 8 part alcohol so take any one value out of the total value and use only one value and use it in the allegation rule to get the required ratio so if you remember the allegation rule this picture and put only one values in the rule you will get the correct answer okay practice it with more and more questions then it becomes very easy for you okay kindly not it okay let us go to the next question so the next question is here in a mixture of 60 liters the ratio of milk and water is 2 is to 1 if the ratio of the milk and water is to be 1 is to 2 then the amount of water to be further added is so we have a mixture of water and milk 
we have a mixture of milk and water and we have total 60 liters so let us write that first total we have 60 liters this 60 liters include what this include milk and water understand very clearly the 60 liters we have and the 60 liter include milk and water which is in the ratio what is given which is in the ratio 2 is to 1 so this two part is milk one part is water 2 is to 1 total we have 60 part 60 liters which is divided in three parts two part milk one part water so total three part divide this 60 by 3 60 by 3 we got 20 so one part is 20 so water will be 20 liters and two part is milk 40 liters milk so total we got 60 understand very clearly very very clearly this is the first step you have to do for these type of questions we have mixture of milk and water total is 60 liters which is in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 means total we have 2 and 1 3 part so when we have 3 part that 3 part divide 60 liters in 3 part 20 20 20 so one part will be 20 so one part will be water water will be 20 liters and two part 20 plus 20 40 liters will be milk now what is the question given we want that ratio to be 1 is to 2 the ratio should be 1 is to 2 that is one part milk and two part water here we have two part milk and one part water but we want one part milk and two part water so how much more water we need to add how much more water we need to add so this milk will not change because we are adding water so milk will not change how much is the milk here 40 liters so 40 liters will not change this will be 40 liters only so now 40 liters milk 1 is to 2 ratio means here you want 80 liters of water then only it becomes 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 40 80 that is 1 is to 2 so you want 80 liters of water total already you have how many liters here 20 liters here so how much more you want to add 20 plus 60 will give you 80 so you want to add 60 liters more so from the given options you can mark 60 as the correct answer understand very very clearly this type of questions are very common 60 liters is the total mixture which include milk and water which is in the ratio 2 is to 1 when it is 2 is to 1 we have more milk less water so 40 liters of milk 20 liters of water now this 2 is to 1 ratio we want to make it as 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 means whatever milk is available double of that water should be there so milk will not change milk is 40 so water will be 80 so then only this ratio will become 40 is to 80 1 is to 2 40 to 80 1 is to 2 double so 80 liters of water is required already we have 20 liters so how much more we want to add 20 plus 60 80 so 60 liters more water we need to add so accordingly mark the correct options okay kindly note it here is your next question students 15 liters of mixture contains 20 percentage alcohol and the rest is water <coughs> if three times 3 liters of water be mixed in it the percentage of alcohol in the mixture will be what so total you have a mixture of 15 liters out of that 15 liters 20 percentage is alcohol okay so you have total 15 liters in this 15 liters you have 20 percentage alcohol 
so obviously remaining 80 percentage will be water what is 20 percentage of 15 10 percentage of 15 is 1.5 we have seen how to calculate percentage in shortcut method in the previous videos if you have not watched that video you can kindly search it and please watch it how to calculate percentages in shortcut method any number is given 10 percentage will be take one point 1.5 15 so 10 percentage will be 1.5 so 10 percentage is 1.5 so 20 percentage will be 1.5 and 1.5 3 so 20 percentage will be 3 liters so 3 liters alcohol out of 15 so remaining 12 liters will be water so 12 liters water 12 liter water and 3 liter alcohol in 15 liters according to this question what is given three more liters of water is added and we need to find out what percentage of alcohol will be there you are adding three more liters of water so total here it will be 15 here it will be 3 so 15 plus 3 total you have 18 out of this 18 liters 3 liter is the alcohol so 3 liter is the alcohol we need to find out what is the percentage multiply this by 100 so you will get what 50 times 2 50 times 2 9 times you can cut this 3 and 9 3 times cut this 3 and 50 48 16 times balance 3 2 by 3 percentage so 16 2 by 3 percentage is the correct answer from the given options you can mark which is the correct answer understand it very clearly 15 liters of mixture is given out of that 15 liters 20 percentage is alcohol remaining is water 20 percentage of 15 that is 3 liters so 3 liters alcohol and 12 liters of water initially then what actually happens three more liters of water is added three more liters of water is added so total water will become 12 plus 3 15 liters and we have already three liters of alcohol so 3 plus 15 total it becomes 18 liters now we have been asked to find out what is the percentage of alcohol in this 18 liters what is the percentage of alcohol in this 18 liters so 3 by 18 multiplied by 100 to get the percentage so when you simplify it we'll get 16.66 against the 16.23 percentage from the given option accordingly you can mark which is the correct option okay kindly note it students if you want to download if you want to download the complete question paper if you want to join our online classes i request you kindly download our educational app trace the learning app from google play store download it today okay you will get a lot of study materials and video classes absolutely free in that app and whatever we are doing here these questions in this video we will be able to do only uh, five or six questions okay the remaining questions the complete question paper if you want to download kindly download the app trace the learning app from google play store and you can download the complete sample paper previous year question papers free video classes free study materials pdf notes everything you can download from this app okay so go to google play and download the app today the the link for downloading the uh, the app is given in the description you can go to description also and you can download by clicking on the link okay